Hi everybody, it's Amy. I'm here in my craft room and um, I just did a little post in the early hours of this morning on my Facebook to show you a little sneaky peek of a toilet roll mini album that I am making at the moment that I am going to be teaching next Sunday at Martin Ash Crafts in Staffordshire. Um, I've taught the uh, toilet roll mini album many times before um, but it's caught some interest last night by everybody saying what on earth is a toilet roll mini album so hence why I'm up here tonight now in my craft room just doing a quick video as promised to my friends on Facebook that I promised I would do this for you so this is what it's all about so I'm just going to tilt my camera so I'm just going to tilt this down now so that we can just get to the table so I hope that you can see this I know it's not very good camera but I'm working with a brand new craft room at the moment I've kind of like had a major organisation anyway but I'm still in the middle of it so toilet roll mini album because you start off with the insides as you can see of your toilet rolls yes if you don't have toilet roll inserts of your toilet rolls you can use kitchen towels and you know anything like that the longer ones that you have on the kitchen towels anything at all but it is very, very simple to make a mini album from this. So it's just really a form of recycling and using up things that we've already got. And how we do this is that I start off by flattening them. Now you can take a bone folder and do this specifically if you want to. But I just tend to do it with my fingers. Or sometimes if I want a little bit of a crisper edge and I can't just find my bone folder... I just use the handles of my scissors just to score those lines around. So you now you can see that it is flat and ready to go. And then all we start doing is decorating these up. Because what we're going to do is decorate both sides. This is one that I've started last night. I've just taken, can you see, flattened toilet roll. Hold it. I've, in the inside is empty. One side I've just started decorating. Now I am teaching with these papers next week and I am besotted with them. If you haven't seen them yet, these are from Craftwork Cards. I know you all know the name. Go check them out there, www.craftworkcards.co.uk and this is a brand new selection of pads that they've done that are called the Flowers and Paper Pad. This is the vintage one that I've been using here. And just to show you, in here, as it says on the front, you have 120 die cut flowers, but you also have 24 sheets of 8x8 coordinating paper stock as well. So we get, open it, there's all these die cut flowers. These are cardstock flowers, so you can manipulate them, fold them, do whatever you want with them, ink them up, do anything at all. You then also get all these different ones as well. We've got the rosette style flowers and all the different patterns and coordinating colours. And then you get all the paper stock. And look at these. You get four of each design, I think it is, off the top of my head. And can you see how they all coordinate together? You've got lines, you've got dots, you've got argyle. All these different um, designs quickly just go through the other ones is also elegant which is based along cream white and blacks and greys beautiful there is blossom if you like your brighter colors go with blossom because there's turquoises and blues and all sorts of different colors in there and then sugar plum and sugar plum is as you can see based around burgundies and whites and um darker charcoal colours in there as well all different colours going on in there so check them out there from Craftwork Cards so like I say I've been using the vintage one and I've just taken strips of paper from the pad and you can just see I've covered one side then I've done another strip I've just done a chevron edge at the side which I'm another obsession of mine I've also done a little punch border from the plain pink card that comes in here and just behind that then I'm just going to take one of my flowers and can you see how this all starts to build up together and everything coordinates with these pads which make them perfect for this kind of project. So what I do is I decorate them all separately. So I'll decorate the front, flip it over, decorate the back, then I'll take my next one, front decorate it, back decorate it. And then all you do is when you have decorated them all, which I haven't done them all yet, but... 
I will come back to you when I have done them all. So when you've got them all together, and you can do as many as you want, you can have three, four, six, as many as you want to go with, all then you have to do is pinch one side and you're going to punch through holes here and here and this is going to be the binding of your mini album. Now you can do this with your crocodile or any hole punch etc etc that you do have. Then all of these openings here are going to be for your tags. Now, I do tags because then you can use it as a mini album. You can put little photographs on there. You can write things on there. You can do whatever you want to. So I want to show you a finished one. This is one that I taught a couple of months ago now. So it's using different papers, different designs, etc. But I just want to show you one finished up. I use here, just let me move. I use here little, can you see them? Let me just see if I can get them. Can you see the little book binding rings here? And I've just tied some different ribbons around just to give it a softer edge than just a book binding ring. All different textures and colours. I've taken it and then here we've got my tags that are all ready to put on photographs, journaling, anything that you want to. And I've decorated up papers, punched out, used some Martha Stewart punches. I also love to use liquid pearls. It gives a much softer effect than the um like a glitter like a stickles or something i do love um liquid pearls with softer palettes of colors and you can just see that these are all just ready quite simply decorated you can put photographs on here and die cut sentiments and handwriting and things that's all just ready and then each pocket there's four on here each one has its own little tag which is then ready for finishing off so that, ladies and gentlemen, is my toilet roll mini album. So I'm sure lots of you now are sat there going, ah, that's what she means. So there you go. It's just a lovely little mini album to make. I have absolutely adored making these for the last few months and teaching them. And like I say, I'm teaching them again coming up. But they're really, really good fun. So give them a try. It's a way to use up all those empty toilet rolls and do take off any bits of paper that you might have on them <laughs> before you get started okay so i hope that explains everything for you take care enjoy the rest of the weekend get out and enjoy that sunshine and i'll speak to you soon okay bye bye